Another thing that happens is amplitude and phase imbalance. So we talk about this local oscillator and these two orthogonal uh, signals. Um, the way they're generated is um, through uh, quite a few different means. One is a quadrature VCO, where VCO is a voltage controlled oscillator and it's just called a VCO. Uh, a polyphase filter is just a set of filters that basically outputs, uh, if you will, you put in a sinusoid and it's going to output uh, a sinusoid in phase and then a sinusoid that is out of phase. And it does this just by using LCs as a phase shifter to give us these two. Typically, uh, this would be a 45 degree phase shift and this would be a minus 45 degree phase shift from this original signal here. Um, and they can also be done through frequency division and a number of other means. Um, the reason we describe how this is done is just for you to realize that however we do it, there's going to be some nine ideality that can create uh, two problems. One is that the amplitude of the two signals is not the same and also the phase isn't exactly 90 degrees. And this actually happens quite, uh, quite often. So let's look at our quadrature signal and see what happens when we have amplitude and phase uh, error in our two uh, local oscillators. So what we're going to do is introduce uh, an unknown amplitude, eta, or, and a, um, I, that's, sorry, that's epsilon, and uh, an unknown phase, delta, theta. And we're going to break this out just like we did before into the identities. And if you work through the math, you can see we suddenly now have a Pre, uh, precursor of the or prefactor for the sine and cosine. Um, here, this looks just like a constant, right? But if you look over here, we actually have this signal and we've got a Q of T. So now our in phase signal contains the in phase and a small portion of the quadrature. So any phase imbalance basically takes that orthogonality and breaks it up so that a small amount of either the I or Q gets overlaid into the other channel. And so this distorts uh, the I and Q data. And if you look at a um, constellation diagram, you can see here that it's been not shifted, but uh, distorted. So now one thing you might wonder is what happens if you have a complete 90 degree phase shift? Well, what's going to happen is this is going to move down here. These two are going to collapse and this is going to move up here. And that makes sense because basically you're either going to have the two signals adding in phase to give you a high signal with a, a zero degree phase shift. They're going to add in the opposite phase, so you're going to get superposition again, and then they might cancel one another where you'd have zero. Uh, 